Guys, the chicken's here. Uh, uh, welcome back to an. Why was I about to say? I've literally never opened a video saying welcome back. Bring you another Boomage video in today's video, guys. Tanks. Yep, that, that's where we're at with season 22. What a season. Tanks. But uh, first, I want to show you guys this. We have heavy choppers on the main base, if you didn't know that yet. Um, <laughs> look at how inactive that log is. They're pretty hilarious. I mean, you can literally just like drop them and flare the HQ, and uh, they kind of take out everything. I don't know if that's going to work if they have, like, 10 boosted ice, but, uh, yeah, they're pretty ridiculous. They're, they're pretty ridiculously OP for the, uh, for the main base, so that was kind of fun. I, I hope we get them for a Mega Crab sometime. That would be really interesting. Um, yeah, it might be too easy to progress, but whatever. So, what we're showing you today, guys. Now, I got a decent base set up here. You guys can go ahead and copy that if you're at the same tech. Um, oh, yeah, tanks. Tanks, tanks, tanks. So, I don't have any spectacular replays, but I'll go over how to use them. Uh, we'll do a couple live hits, and yes, yes, we did change out the prototype again. That brings us up to a total of 800 diamonds per switch. I, I've been switching them almost once a day. Don't recommend that you guys do that, but uh, that's what I've been doing, because I'm, I'm trying to, um, I'm, I was tr really trying to get the diamond today, but it just hasn't been in the cards yet. I did go ahead and max out the GBE. Probably better off to save your tokens for artillery and shock launchers. I believe that's where we're going next. Uh, I do know skipping ahead and going to 5 ER uh, like 204 did was not the play. Um, so we got to get tanks. We got to get tanks. Tanks are the meta. That's what, that's what we need to be using. Um, yeah. I don't think I'm going to go for medics. I don't think I'm going to go for crystal shield. I think I'm just going to go over here, grab another boom cannon, and then get in and get out. So let's just go over the attack. We'll just do it live. Um... It's pretty straightforward for the most part, but it can get a little bit screwy on you. So here's what we want to do. We want to use Bullet with Taunt, and we want to use um, two heavies and six tanks. This is cut and paste, you know, for everything. So here's how here's how we want to do it, more or less. Now, there's a couple different ways. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go one heavy, six tanks. Typically, I try to delay the second heavy unless I'm flaring over to the right. So I'm actually just going to throw out that heavy and bullet right now, and then we're going to flare up over this way. Now, what I should have done there was I should have let them take out that boom cannon first, so I'm already making mistakes, but that's fine, I guess. Uh, because if we lose any tanks to this boom cannon, then that is uh, a problem. So let's go ahead and use our taunt there, uh, just because. Okay, so then basically all we want to do is we're just... <sighs> I lost a tank. Um, <clears throat> so we're just going to free clear up here. We're going to shock the doom cannon. And then we want to get Bullet in a decent position where he's taunting the Doom Cannon. Because if you have to keep the if you have to keep the Doom Cannon down with shocks the entire time, then you're gonna lose the battle. So try not to do that. I'm gonna shock it right now because it looks like Bullet's gonna run over to the side there. Uh, but we'll let it target him one more time if it's going to. No, it's not. So let's keep this all down over here. So then it kind of turns into a um, a two-part attack and here's where it gets tricky because we want to manage bullet we want to keep him alive but we also need to uh, pay attention to um, <clears throat> to our tanks because they're gonna spread across and you don't really want to flare them too much you don't want to move them too much at all you, you want to kind of keep them going where they're going um, and yeah you, you really don't want to mess with them too too much because say if I flare them up to the top now um, which I actually am going to do because it's going to put us in a better spot. But typically you don't want to do that because look how slowly they move. I, I was able to do that there because there's nothing left in range. Um, and I want to get them all on the same side. But if you're doing that when there's still defenses shooting at them, you're just going to lose like half your tanks before they get over to the spot. Um, Alright, so I'm going to save my shock. Let's go ahead with a taunt here. Now the taunt is good to use even if you don't really need it. Like I didn't really need it there. But it allows it it allows Bullet to activate his damage limit. That's very important. So Bullet's damage limit lets him take more damage. It essentially gives him health in a way. Um, so let's go like this. And we're going to use our next bucket of critters over this way. And there we go. So we got the full clear. That's all we're after with this strategy. We're not trying to uh, do this quickly. We're just simply trying to survive till the end of the battle. And then, um, yeah. Yeah. They should fizzle on your base um, if you have enough defenses. 
but that's 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 kind of the idea i made a few mistakes there so we, we got kind of lucky that it looks like he's having a hard time uh on us but yeah that's the idea so we should be able to um free and clear just do this uh, i did already get up to 20 today so yeah and that was just simply from getting tanks max them out and just using them like we're using them right now so let's do another one it, it is tough though it is tough um you know, it's not as simple as I made it look in that last hit because that was kind of, uh, that was an easy one. So, let's talk about, uh, how do we want to do this one, chicken? Yeah, let's go heavy, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let them clear a little bit. I'll bring in bullet just behind. So, pretty well every layout, you're going to have a doom, that, that you have a doom cannon under a sky shield, you're actually able to, um, to hit it pretty easily with a shock. Now, if you look at the top ring, the really thick one of the Sky Shield, that's the one that's going to dissolve your GBE. The one underneath that is the one you have to be just outside of. I'll show you in a sec when we get closer. All right, let's go this way. We got our second round of heavies coming in. All right, ah, I was late on that. So you see right there, I can hit that mine, and that's going to allow the shock to go underneath and grab that Doom Cannon. So basically from here, all we're really doing is just duplicating that shock over and over and over again. I might use a taunt here just because bolt's getting a little bit unhealthy. Uh, but we need to really focus our GBE over there. It's better to throw the shock a half second early than it is late and uh, have the doom cannon spout off and, and, and clip a couple tanks. That's really going to screw up your attack. Um, so yeah, it's better to... It's better to overdo it than it is to underdo it for sure. Now we don't have any tanks really going over this way to the Doom Cannon, so that's going to be an issue. Uh, let's go there again. And I can't flare them at this point because it's going to take too long. And I, I'm running out of shocks. So now we're going to have some issues. We're not going to finish the base because the Doom Cannon is still up at this point. Um, but what we can do here is we can flare the engine room. Let's go over here. And we just simply want to get that second engine down. This is more typical of how these attacks look like. Now, if we can distract long enough, the critters that cannon is going to one-shot our tanks. Yeah, we're not going to get it down. <clears throat> so, what we could have done differently there was... Uh, I, I could have tried to move them over a little bit. Is that cannon out of range? Oh, that's huge. That is huge. What's it going to give us? 10 GB? So, we'll have... It. Uh, 16. It's not going to be enough for anything. So we're just going to die after this. There's nothing we can do. Um, maybe he'll scare that cannon. I don't know. Nope. Okay. All right. So we're going to retreat instantly. Um, wow. We were able to come away with the win. So let's take a look on defense and see what he was trying to do. Uh, that is going to get us back up to rank 20. So that's decent. He went bullet and two, four, six boats of tanks. Where's his heavies? I guess he's saving them. One, two. Yeah, I mean, that's a good idea to delay drop them, too. Um, but he's kind of moving them all as one unit versus letting them kind of spread out. And we, we have a lot of damage. We got the damage amp. You know, we got uh, we got our rockets maxed up. So we got a lot of splash damage that he's got to fight through. So that's able to put us up over the top. And let's see if we can end this on a little streak here, guys. Oh, man. But, yeah, it's been, uh, it's, it's been a struggle today. Just one of those days, you know, where it's back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. But uh, we were able to make some progress um, earlier, but it, then it just kind of tapered off during the day. So let's see if we can add things on a high note here. Um, and let's go bullet, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, I'm going to throw a bullet out first here because there's not a lot of stuff that's really going to damage him. So it's not, uh, not the end of the world. I'm actually going to take a page out of that guy's book, and I'm going to... I'm going to really delay drop the heavies on this one. I think that's going to work out much better for us than it uh, than it did for him. Okay, let's go like this. Let's throw out one boat now. Bullet needs a little bit of help. And this Doom Cannon, this is actually really tough. I We can get it, though. We can get it. So let's go like this. Uh, I might have been a little bit... I didn't think Bullet was going to take that much damage, but guess we were wrong all right so we can i'm pretty sure we can hit this if we, we just got to get it right on that edge yeah you got to be so precise with these shocks okay the heavies are going to come up there they're going to clean some mines for us 
And let's go like this again. Um, I'm actually going to throw some critters in the back way over there. And I did actually miss that first shock. Thankfully, we hit the out of bounds on it. All right, so now the Doom Cannon is about to go down, which is perfect. That's what we needed. And I'm going to throw critters down, and I'm going to shock them. That's going to shock the single target. It's going to uh, allow the critters to stay alive. And okay, okay, okay. Come on, take out that Boom Cannon. We're going to critter this again over here. Come on, Boom Cannon, turn for us. That sniper tower is going to do some work. Okay. Come on, boys. Who's going to shoot faster, the Boom Cannon or the tanks? Does this guy not have uh, defensive building damage or something? It seems like his... Uh, it seems like they're doing hardly any damage there. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to critter this side. But I don't have enough juice. Oh, it doesn't matter. We won it anyways. If we had done that... Uh, if I can take down this cannon, we can actually flare up this way. I don't know if the mortar's going to take us out or not. I think it is. Oh, it switched the critters. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> give me that flare. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Get out of range of that. Get out of range. Get out of there. Machine gun. No, no, no. Uh, is the mine going to kill us? It's going to be close. Are we in range of that mortar? That is the question. I don't think I flared him far enough. Or I just flared him. Wow. What an attack to end on. I don't need this engine, but... Um, I just wanted to finish that one up nicely. So there it is. There it is. We were having the hardest time, but uh, we switched up our base. I think that's what it was. I, I was using my base, uh, one that I just invented. Probably not the best idea overall, um, but it was working. So I don't know. But uh, but there it is. Guys, so I hope that helps you out. That's your tank primer. That's what we've got to be using. Come on, camera, focus. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you find this video helps you out, I do appreciate it. If you use the code chicken in the shop. Join up our Discord server. In the, the link to that is in the description. And we'll see you next one, guys. Chicken out. Back, 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 back. Back. Nice.